C star mosaic stacking in Cyril is now easy as one, two, three. Not only does this properly align all of the images, but it also drizzles and triggers the new spectral photometric color calibration all in one step. This script also works beautifully on normal C star images as well as multi night C star images. I started the script back in December, but since Cyril was still in development, some of the functions that were needed for automation weren't yet available, but they are now. So let's hop in and see what that looks like. Okay, so now we are in Cyril uh, version 1.4.0 beta 1. Uh, before we do anything, we need to do some setup first if you haven't already done it. So under preferences, you click on the little hamburger menu, go to preferences. Under the fits Sir debayer option on the first one, you want to make sure that bare information from files header if available is selected. The reason is because the current iterations of the C stars both have GRBG, so you can select this if you want or you can click on this and if the data is available, it'll use that. So you can customize this, but I found that checking this works with the C stars pretty well. The next thing you wanna do is in under astrometry, you wanna make sure that you have the Gaia astrometric data already downloaded. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. And the reason we need, need this is because the script that I set up uses local Gaia instead of online Gaia. It's a little bit faster. And if you don't have that, my buddy Rich at Deep Space Astro has a way, has a video showing you how to do it. But it's basically going to scripts, Python scripts, and then serial catalog installer. And then once this runs, you install astrometry and then you install uh, all of uh, Gaia here. It takes up a lot of space, but I'll link uh, Rich's video in the description below so you can get some more in-depth detail if you're curious. Going back to preferences, under scripts, you wanna make sure that you know where your scripts are getting stored. So I've been collecting these like over the years. And I think the last one here is where the latest scripts are, or, or it's this one. And where you'd want it, this is where you'd want to put the script. So if I go here, serial scripts. So this is an app data local serial scripts. We have a bunch of them here, pre-processing, processing and utility. Uh, I have this in pre-processing. I have a couple of them here along with others that I've collected over the years. So I have both of them here along with a bunch of these others that came with uh, Cyril. And once you're there, uh, you'd want to go to my GitHub. I'll have the link to this in the description below as well. And there are two .ssf files here. There's a broadband mosaic and a narrowband mosaic. So you would want to go here and click on this download raw file on the right hand side. Or you can copy and paste it and you know, do it yourself. Um, but if you download this, it'll download here and you can move it into the directory here. Uh, but realistically, you know, and under preferences, you can put this in any of the available directories that are set up here for you. You can also add another one, uh, easy. And once that's done, under scripts, serial scripts, you'll have it here. So I just uh, labeled them in astronomy, C star broadband mosaic and C star narrowband mosaic. And the last setup option you need to do is make sure that your home directory is set correctly. So I already have this set to my serial uh, one four C star mosaic directory along with the lights folder here. So I'll click cancel and we'll look at what's in there. And inside my lights folder, I have 276 images from M31 taken in November. These are the same image files that I processed in the original video. So we're going to process them again. I know for a fact that some of these are actually bad. They're going to fail, but it's okay. So once that's here, you have that set up under Cyril. Easy as going to scripts, serial scripts, and then clicking on broadband mosaic. And then click run script. And you can see it run through, it's actually quite fast, which I am uh, very impressed with. And I'll let this run. All right, that ran, that 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 was super fast actually. And this is, this is what we see. Uh, and you can see some of the bad files. Uh, this is tree getting into view, tree getting into view, uh, but and it does an automatic stretch, so it does an auto stretch just to show you what the results are like. So it actually saves the auto stretch onto the result here. But we're, if you want, you don't have to use this. So what you want to do is go back to your mosaic directory where you have the lights. So you'll have two different files here. We have one with OG, I don't really know what else to call it. And then you have one with SPCC. So this script will do uh, spectrophotometric cal color calibration as well. So what you can do is you can, uh, instead of, playing with that you can click bring that over and then do your own auto stretch here 
and then play with play with the data. You can see that the colors actually look a little, a little bit better. Uh, if you don't want to do the SPCC, you can also bring in uh, the OG file, which is the save before SPCC is done. You can see it's a little bit more yellow, and then you can do SPCC yourself. But I think having the SPCC here makes things a little bit easier. And then um, you know you can crop crop yourself. You don't have to do auto stretch. You can do a uh, I've also been playing with auto GHS, but it's a little bit harder to do because every image is different. But uh, just to keep it simple for this video, you can just do you know an auto stretch here and 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 play with the settings here. But this is just to give you an idea of how you can use the script to really quickly just process your images from the C star pretty quickly. All right now to test this out on regular C star images. So this is not a mosaic. This is of M27 that I took over a couple of nights, and I have 956 of this. It's a lot more data. So in Serial, I restarted it. I have my new Serial home directory set to uh, C star 14 or Serial 14 C star normal. And here I'm going to go to scripts, uh, Python or Serial scripts, and then I'm going to do narrowband because this is the narrowband. Uh, M27 data and I'll click on run script and we'll see how quickly that runs. All right, that finished. You can see it took just two minutes and 17 seconds to complete, which is incredibly impressive. And we can see our result here. And uh, I don't think this will have the data if I scroll up, but it did have the channels or the or the color bear pattern as grbg because i have it auto to auto detect so if your colors look weird make sure you select that and you have uh, and it makes sense to you and you can see that i have a couple sessions so they didn't always line up so i have a couple of frames that are way out here that are way noisy but m27 here looks great and like i said this is doing an auto stretch. If I didn't want to do an auto stretch, uh, I would go back here. I have, whoops, I have uh, the SPCC file here. I'll bring it up here, open. And then I can do an auto stretch myself or use GHS and, and start playing with that. So you can see the colors look a little bit better. So just crop in, there we go. All right, so I took a couple of minutes to do some GHS and some sharpening and some saturation. You can see that this looks really good. I could do a lot more. The only one thing that I didn't do is do a background removal and denoising in this. Just to show that even with minimal effort, you can get quite nice results using uh, this script just to pre-process. I should probably rename the script from something other than C Star Mosaic processing because it can work with regular C star images as well. But for the time being, I'll leave it alone. If I have any updates later on, I'll make uh, more videos. So keep an eye on the GitHub repo for any changes that may happen in the future. This isn't a part of official Cyril. So even if you update Cyril, the scripts won't change. So I'll try and keep up to date with that. Uh, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to submit this, but I'll wait for some feedback. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'm really pleased with the result and kudos to the Cyril team for getting this out. I have some ideas on how I can improve the script, but if you have any suggestions or any questions at all, let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, like the video, and if you haven't yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to support me even further, consider becoming a member on YouTube. Also check the description below for links to all the resources that I've mentioned, including an invite link to our Discord server where you can join other fellow astronomers and astrophotographers where we're all just learning from each other. Until next time, clear skies.